What offers did you get in the end with these companies that you applied to? I got offers to the Microsoft uh, New Grad Program Manager, mm -hmm. the Zynga Rotational Product Manager, RPM, and then the Google APM Program Manager. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Code Ray, and if you're new on this channel, I'm currently an incoming software engineer, and I help you to succeed and navigate through your tech career. As before, I am still currently reviewing resumes, so please message me on Twitter or Instagram in order to have your resume reviewed. Furthermore, make sure to smash that subscribe button because I will be posting weekly videos on the different areas of the tech career and how to improve your own tech career. So the product management role is probably one of the hardest roles to land in the realm of tech. This is due to the fact that companies like Twitter, Uber, and Lyft accept less than 10 candidates out of many thousands of applications. Furthermore, large companies like Google only accept around 40 candidates out of almost tens of thousands of candidates. I personally really love the product management role, and in the past, I've actually thought about going into product management because it lets you have really good control over the product that you're creating. And if you're not really super passionate about coding, but you love the tech space, it's really a good role for you. In this video, I will be talking with an incoming Google APM and we're going to go in depth into tackling the APM and PM or product management interviews and we are also going to go over how to prepare for these interviews so you guys will have a higher chance of landing one of these jobs so now let's welcome incoming Google APM Deborah Zhang Hi. hey Deborah okay so to get started in the topic of PMs um, can you tell us what is product management? Sure, so it's usually considered the intersection between business, technology, as well as design. Um, you're really building a product from the bottom up, and you're usually working with engineers, um, either in software and hardware, uh, marketing to push out the product, legal to make sure that it's legal, uh, UX and UI design to make sure that everything is intuitive. Um, and then from there, you're able to build up something and ship it eventually. Awesome, awesome. And so going off the topic of product management, can you tell us what APM is? Right, so APM stands for Associate Product Management, and it's really catered towards new grads. There's a, there are a couple ways to get into product management, um, but this is really tailored to people straight out of university or fresh in the industry. There usually are one to four people in these programs at mid to large size companies with the exception of Google and Facebook. Um, they're really great and have a huge focus on mentorship. So they're really teaching you how to be a full fledged mm. product manager. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, so when someone is starting off interested in PM and applying for PM positions, what is the application like in terms of, you know, networking and creating the resume and applying for these specific positions? Yeah, yeah. some things to kind of think about before you actually apply is your resume. Are you tailoring it to the job description? For example, if a company is looking for SaaS experience, does that kind of show on your resume? Even if, for example, you're a software engineer, it's really important to make sure your resume is tailored for product management. Um, so when your recruiter is looking through your resume in six seconds, she's able to be like, yes, you know, this person has the chops. Um, the next thing, once you have your resume is, it's really important to network and get a referral. Um, oftentimes referrals never really guarantee you the job, but it will guarantee that your resume is looked at a little faster than just putting it online into a black hole. Right. Um, the last thing that I'd really love to touch on is just getting to know your recruiter or getting to know the recruiter for a specific position. Once you apply, hopefully with a strong resume, a referral, you're able to reach out to the recruiter and be like, hey, I've applied just to let you know and kind of keep you up to date. So what are some things on your resume that you think help you to stand out in order to get that interview for the Google APM position? I think that I did try to tailor it to the job description. So if they were talking about something like communication, I would look to my software engineering experiences or my technical product management experience and try to highlight that. Um, I think on a resume, it's really important to just follow the basic rules of using action words uh, mm -hmm. to quantify your metrics. You know, if you did increase test coverage from 60% to 90%, your recruiter wants context there. Mm -hmm. um, keeping everything really concise is really important too. As a product manager, you're prioritizing exactly what's being shown to people. So just making sure your resume is really concise um, is really great. In terms of what I've done, I don't think it's incredibly special, but I did put in a lot of work mm -hmm. into making sure that it was clean, concise, and I had a lot of friends look at it too. Okay, so during the recruiting process, um, what interviews did you um, apply for and which interviews did you end up um, getting interviews for? 
Yeah, off the top of my head, I just remember applying for absolutely everything <laughs> given the <laughs> nature yeah, of APM sure. roles. They're really competitive, so mm -hmm. I applied to so many things. Like I can remember it was like Twitter, Lyft, mm -hmm. Uber, I think, Dropbox, mm -hmm. um, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, wow. the list goes on. I can't mm -hmm. even remember. Indeed, yeah, some like financial. <laughs> um, there's so many, but I did get interviews and hear back from a lot of them. But with that, mm -hmm. so many rejections. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It really took a long time to keep accelerating in the interview funnel. Mm -hmm. um, but once you just get that one offer, that's really all you need. So. Um, I just recommend trying to apply a lot and don't give up until you get it. Okay, so what offers did you get in the end with these companies that you applied to? I got offers to the Microsoft uh, New Grad Program Manager, mm -hmm. um, role, Zynga Rotational Product Manager, RPM, and then the Google APM Program Manager. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so when preparing for the APM and PM interviews, what are some key resources that um, you had that helped you to prepare for these interviews? Yeah, for sure. A lot of them came from books at first, so this mm -hmm. is where I was doing a lot of my reading. So frameworks, how to answer questions, you know, learning about the types of questions for these interviews. Mm -hmm. um, a really popular one is by Lewis Lin, Decode and Conquer. A lot of people have heard of it. Mm -hmm. And I personally really like the product manager interview by him. I found those were like step-by-step -step guides on how to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. After I was done reading, I found it so important to mock interview and that's where the bulk of the practice does come in. Right. Um, I used Exponent PM um, to really hone in on uh, videos to watch as well as mocking with people that were also in the community too and were prepping as well. I spent around, I think, I did around 70 mock interviews around the time, around I think three months or so. Another popular one is called Cracking the PM Interview mm -hmm. and that one has a really great resume section if you're kind of wondering what you should do for your resume as well as the hiring criteria for several companies such as Microsoft, Facebook, and Google, more so the big ones. I would say if you're also mocking for system design interviews and something technical, I highly recommend grokking the system design mm -hmm. um, interview, I believe that's called. And it's so helpful if you're going through something more technical like Microsoft and Google. One, one really important thing that I found really helpful is also just going on to Medium, any bloggers um, that have gone through the process really kind of show you what the hiring process is like. So just do your research. Mm -hmm. um, I really recommend Arjun's. My friend Arjun has a really great article on how to prep for the APM interviews. So we'll link that somewhere as well. Yeah, That's and great. I'll definitely link all of those resources and Arjun's Medium post in the description below. So in general, how did you prepare for the PM and APM interviews? Yeah, the process that I took was I first wasn't really confident enough to mock just straight out of you know not knowing anything. So I did a lot of reading beforehand. That's when I read the books I mentioned, Decode and Conquer, Cracking the PM Interview, mm -hmm. and the Product Manager Interview. Spent around two, three weeks doing that, taking notes, being pretty meticulous about the material. Once I was finished that, I needed to make sure I mocked because all these books were telling me how important it was and truly it's like the most important thing. I met a few people on the Exponent PM mock interview group and I did, I think in the first month, I did 20 or so, but wow. the first 10 I think mm -hmm. just really are getting a feel for it. So mm -hmm. it's really unfamiliar, highly uncomfortable. It was even mm -hmm. more awkward if that's possible. And then right. by the 20 mark, you're getting a little bit more refined. You're like, okay, this is a product design question. How do mm -hmm. I tackle this? This is analytical. How do I go about thinking about that? Mm -hmm. By 30, you're getting a better hang of it. By 40, you kind of get your own group. If you're stressed, <laughs> you know how you deal with it. Um, anything above that, in my opinion, is more so an optimization. So stuff like, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't say something like, give me 10 seconds. Maybe you should say, give me a moment, mm -hmm. um, just requirements. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Can you tell us what the general structure of the APM interviews are? Sure, yeah, of course. Um, there are generally a couple different types of questions that many companies um, look for to get a pulse of how great a product manager you would be. Mm -hmm. um, the first and most notorious one, I think, would be product design. So this is really testing your creativity, making sure that you know how exactly to design a product and why. The reason is really important. So 
I have an example here if that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. An example would be, how would you improve the Facebook news feed? Mm -hmm. And so you'd have to look at a goal and then really execute on that. Mm -hmm. Um, another type of question would be analytical. So this is really testing your understanding of how to use metrics to really evaluate and kind of improve a product. An example of that might be what are metrics that we should look at when evaluating Facebook search. Mm -hmm. um, and under that analytical branch, Google also asks estimation questions. I don't find that outside of Google, it's really that notorious. I've only had one other interview with that question outside of Google. Mm -hmm. uh, example of that might be how many queries per second does Gmail get? Mm -hmm. So you get a really broad question and you really have to funnel it by a asking clarifying questions. And then from there, just kind of scoping down and using facts to kind of build a concise answer. Mm -hmm. Another type of question would be strategy. So for this, mm -hmm. you're, you're, they're kind of evaluating you know, how well do you know the industry? Have you done market research outside of, you know, your typical news feed? Um, so an example of this might be discuss long-term product roadmaps and strategies to increase market share. Another type of question would be execution questions. So an example would be weekly active usage dropped on Android Y. Mm -hmm. So you have a really broad question again, and you're going to break it down and explain your reasoning through uh, industry knowledge, through your experiences working with perhaps engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have something that's really common for every company, and that's your behavioral interview. Mm -hmm. So things like, you know, tell me about yourself, tell me about a time you had a failure or a mm -hmm. challenge, or what are your strengths, all of that good stuff. So <laughs> there's that portion. Then there's the technical portion of the interview. And a lot of people aren't sure for product management interviews, how technical do you need to be? Mm -hmm. You generally aren't expected to code. I mean, I think Microsoft might be the only one where you might be writing even just some pseudo code, mm -hmm. but technically it's going to be just system designs. So, so for example, let's design a dictionary for the blind. Mm -hmm. From a technical standpoint, how are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. So is that through APIs? databases like what do you need who's mm -hmm. your customer how much you know size storage scale all that stuff um so that's the technical portion of that okay awesome going off the general structure of the apm interviews what is the interview timeline usually like for the application process yeah so for new grads and people that are just fresh into industry i would say that it starts around august with i think facebook being the earliest around mm -hmm. august 1st and then they kind of close off around the three months or so mark mm -hmm. after August. So I would say November, December, they're kind of ending and probably people have offers around January or so, if not way earlier. Awesome. So I guess for people who are currently in their internships or thinking about trying to get PM internships or PM full-time jobs for the future, um, it's currently June. And so they should start like thinking about interviewing and like doing some practice questions and possibly start asking for referrals and then eventually um, applying in August? Yeah, so if I were a student right now, I would definitely look into, you know, reading up on some materials just to mm. kind of get a gist of what the product management interview looks like as well as maybe just how to prep and have a game plan mm -hmm. i'd also if possible go to like virtual open houses and network a time just to get to know the recruiters mm -hmm. uh, or just people working in the field as well awesome thank you so now let's get into the interview process what is the first interview usually like after you get that email back right typically i would say it's either a recruiter call so someone from hr just you know mm -hmm. doing a screen this might be something like tell me a little bit about yourself um, on a high level, what's your favorite product and why? Just very typical uh, product design questions. Or you might actually have a product manager go through some kind of exercise mm -hmm. with you. For example, uh, design an alarm clock for the blinds, very common one. Mm -hmm. um, just a few product design questions, maybe analytical for some companies, but it's usually around 30 minutes to 45 minutes, mm -hmm. nothing. Um, too crazy there. Okay, so now let's talk about the rest of the interviewing process after the first interviews. So after these first um, phone calls or first general um, questions or behavioral interviews, so you, now you're on to like the second interviews and that's like really the meat of the interview process with the on-sites. So how would you approach these on-sites and uh, what are they like? Yeah, I think that mocking is the way to go when you are doing an on-site or just a second interview that way you're able to kind of just get a feel for you know how this question might be in an interview how do you react under stress 
if something's unclear, are you going to clarify it or are you going to assume something? Uh, mocking is, I think, the number one thing to do before on site. Just, you know, grab resources and a friend and do that together. It's so helpful. The structure of on sites are generally, I would say, four to six interviews. Mm -hmm. And with each of those interviews, they're evaluating something different. So they're looking for a pulse on maybe your product design skills, your analytical skills, et cetera, and just making sure that you're able to communicate from your head mm -hmm. to the interviewer concisely is super important. Okay, awesome. So if you guys have any questions about the APM or PM interviews, feel free to contact me. We're always willing to be able to talk to new people who have questions. So thank you so much for watching the video with us here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video for more videos on navigating and succeeding through your tech career. I will have um, further videos posted about networking. If you haven't checked it out already, please watch my video on creating your Google resume. Thank you so much, guys.